Hi friends, thanks for joining us. It is the 11th day of the month. So we are in Proverbs, the 11th chapter, and we're gonna look at the first through the third verses. And I'm basically gonna look at them from the Message Bible translation and just really just kind of read them verbatim and then give you a pearl of wisdom and get out of your hair. So um, before we get started, wanna make sure that you um, give us a thumbs up, that you like this page, also that you share this page with a friend and share this video with a friend and also subscribe to the Proclamation 101 because we've got um, a whole month worth of Proverbs, jewels, and, and gems that we want to share with you and we want to make sure that you know when they come up. So make sure you subscribe to the page so that you're not left out when we download or upload new videos. Okay. Proverbs, the 11th chapter, the first through the third verse. We're looking at the Message Bible translation. It's just a different translation. There's like King James Version, um, New Living Translation, but the Message Bible to me just makes it so plain. It's like everyday language that you and I would talk. And basically it says in verse one that God hates cheating in the marketplace, but he loves when business is done above board. How's that for you? That's as plain as it can get. God doesn't like when there's cheating going on, especially in the marketplace, anywhere I can imagine. But this one is focused on the marketplace. Um, marketplace meaning in the place of business um, where you buy and sell things, whether that marketplace is a brick and mortar or the marketplace is on the internet. God doesn't like cheating that happens in the marketplace, but he loves it when business is done above board. Also, the second verse says, that the stuck up fall flat on their faces, but the down to earth people stand firm. So how do we define the stuck up people? Those are people who think that they're superior to everybody else, that they can do no wrong and everybody else has to live up to their uh, expectations and to the goals that they have set and live up to their standards so to speak. So it says the stuck up will fall flat on their faces. You know, there's also a, a verse that talks about the proud and how God resists the proud. So people who walk in pride, um, thinking that they are superior, and I mean unhealthy um, opinion of themselves, that they are so much better than everybody else. Um, it says that God resists the proud. And what does it mean to resist something? It's almost like you're pushing against it. You resist it. You don't allow it to go forward. You don't allow it to progress. You resist it from making any progress. God resists those who are proud. And proud, um, not just uh, looking proud, but you know what God looks at? He doesn't look at necessarily the actions per se, but he looks at the intent of the heart. Let's pay attention to what's happening in our hearts because only we can um, identify that. People on the outside, they don't know what's happening in our, in our hearts because sometimes we do things and don't necessarily mean them from our hearts, but we can go through the motions and act out and act through and just do what we feel is the appropriate or the politically correct thing to do. But God is looking at our hearts. Let's keep our hearts healthy, naturally and spiritually. Let's keep them healthy. Verse three says, the integrity of the honest keeps them on track, but the deviousness of crooks brings them to ruin. So it pays to be honest. It pays to walk in integrity. It pays to do things right because it will ultimately end you, put you in a place um, a solid place. Um, I know that there are people who do things, um, kind of do things underhandedly, and it seems like they progress a lot faster than other people, but those kind of people don't always last. Uh, sometimes um, they may last in the position, but they don't have peace. Um, sometimes they may um, last in, you know, the, the, project that they're working on and however whatever they did to get ahead but there's always something kind of missing um whether it's like i said the peace or them um being solid or them being confident you know when you do things right you stand on a solid ground you stand in confidence in what you do and in the um, outcome of what you do so the reason that we are doing these verses and we're doing them out of the book of Proverbs is because Proverbs is just filled with jewels. It's filled with gems. It's filled with wisdom. It's filled with insight that will give you what you need in order to 
live a, a balanced life but a full life and um, a life filled with good substance a substantive life you know we um, take the time to try to dig the gems out of this book just to share them with you so let me share the pearl of wisdom and then we can get on out of here so the first verse talks about cheating in the marketplace how god does not like that so do business above board whether you're doing a home business whether you're doing a business um, out of your home doing a business on the internet um, e-commerce whether you're doing a business in the brick and mortar whether you're working for a small mom and pop shop do things above board even if you're working and selling at a lemonade stand do things above board do good business do ethical business do unto others as you would have them do unto you just do the right thing no matter what especially when it comes to business because you do reap what you sow so those seeds that you plant have a way to come back and bite you sometimes the second verse also talks about those who are balanced reasonable and responsible will stand firm that just kind of confirms a little bit of what we were talking about a little earlier when we were talking about um, when you do things with integrity when you do things with the right motive when you are honest it simply puts you in a place where you stand firm you don't have to look over your shoulder and worry about the person that you stepped on or that you wronged coming back and exposing you when you do things and you do them upright you don't have to worry about things coming to stab you or to I shouldn't say stab you in the back but you don't have to worry about things coming to haunt you from your past just do the right thing and it keeps you on a stable level ground and it keeps you standing firm in whatever you're doing and then the third verse talks about remember living and doing business with integrity and with honesty remember to do that do business with integrity and do business with honest honesty it pays off in the long run and it will keep you on the right path and it will keep you moving forward in the right direction again there are some tremendous gems in the book of proverbs and we hope that you will join us to focus on these scriptures each and every day you know what we have done for um, this month for this new calendar year um, and we've done it for other years but we just want to start out again for this year 2021 join us as we focus on a scripture each and every day of the month and we hope that it will bring you encouragement and we hope that it will bring you hope but we are going to do this and we invite you to join us now be sure to give us a thumbs up on this video share this video with a friend and subscribe to our channel we hope that you'll do that and we look forward to seeing you next time thanks again